Hey guys, it's Phil again. I'm coming to you with a special kind of just heat of the moment video that I thought you guys should be aware of this feature and this lovely, lovely developer who was able to help me will help everyone with this. So at Google IO 2014 that ended yesterday, which was Thursday, the 26th, um, a couple of videos went up from people across various tech news sites about how there was going to be an always listening or almost always listening feature similar to the Moto X with its um, OK Google Now hot word detection from any screen. But this one is limited to when it's when the screen is on or when its screen is off and it's plugged in, like to a wall charger getting power charging. So what you're going to need is three files and then probably three preconditions. The files are going to be linked down there in the description. The first one's going to be a direct link to the download for the Unleash the Google APK is what it is. Then there's going to be a link to the newest Google search app, which is 3.5.1234234.arm. That's a mouthful. And then the latest Google Play services download, which will be version 5.0.77, with all of which you will need. So what you're going to do is first move all three files to your phone's SD card internally or the SD card in the SD card slot. Blah. And then you're going to make sure you're rooted for this. If you're rooted, you can continue. If you're not rooted, either wait until this comes to you naturally, because this will be coming in, it's coming in waves. But for the time being, if you are rooted, you can continue. If you're not rooted, but you want to be, find a video, pause this one, find a video, and then come back. Okay. If you came back after rooting your phone, welcome back. You voided your warranty. Welcome to the fun. If you already were rooted, sorry about the awkward pause. Regardless, let's continue. So what you're going to do is install the two, you're going to install search and Google Play services, and then let them do their whole upgradey thing and in install business, and then reboot the phone just to make sure everything works and everything is all set up correctly. And then after you reboot your phone, you're going to go into your favorite file manager so let's just do this for you. And then I'm just using Nova Launcher because I love Nova Launcher. So please excuse the odd white balance on a black wallpaper. So I love Solid Explorer, so I'm using Solid Explorer for this one. You don't have to, other file explorers are available. So what, I put mine in my download folder. So it will be labeled as, there we go, unleash the google.apk. It is an absolutely tiny file. That's 19.74 kilobytes. That's it. So we're going to tap on it to install it. Do you want to install? It will it will initially have uh, super user. It'll have a little pound sign or hashtag or number symbol there. So you want to click install and then it will go through the install process. I already have one. In I already have it installed and have this working just to make sure. So we're going to click open and then it'll do this and it'll give you a toast enabled debug dog food options. And then you're going to, it, the rest of it read, force close Google search to enable access or something similar to that. So what we're going to do is go into our app drawer and then launch Google, Google search, our latest version. This is version, whatever it is. So you can see it's loading and then we're going to go back home and then we have to force close it. So we're going to open multitasking. We're going to tap and hold, going to click app info and then wait for it to take us in. And then we're going to click force stop. Force stop may, yeah, we want it to misbehave right here. It's go, when it restarts next time, it's going to have developer options available for us. So I'm gonna clear it out of my recent apps just in case and then clear the rest just because. So go back in, we're going to relaunch Google, Google search. And then we're going to, if you have a capacitive menu button, then you're going to tap that. If you don't, you're going to scroll down and tap on the three little buttons, which are the menu. And you'll see more than just settings and feedback. You'll see all of these in brackets and then the word testing. So we're going to go into settings. So if you see those, you know, you did it right. Okay. If you, if you see those nice job, let's, let's continue. So if you have those, we're going to scroll down to config flags under the debug. And we're going to make sure two things are set up. The first one is we want to make sure that enable underscore E 300 is ticked to on. The second one we're going to make sure that is ticked is going to be all the way down in the S and it's called speaker underscore ID underscore supported underscore locales. 
meaning this is the location that is currently supported. So this one by default is en-us, which is United States English. That's the only one that this works for as far as I know. So we're going to click OK, and then we need to save these changes. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom, and it'll be under Add Custom, and it'll be two down from the last tick box. So we're going to Save Config Settings. You'll get no message saying it did, but it will. So we're going to go back, and then this is just to make sure it worked. We're going to tap and hold, and we're going to force close it again, force stop it. Gonna do that. Go home. Close it out of our recent apps. And open the search app. So from here, you need a data connection for this one, because, so I'm running on Wi-Fi. Your data speeds may make this slightly different. So we're going to go into settings, go into voice. You'll see this, which you probably didn't see before, audio history. This needs to be turned on if it's not already. So we're going to click OK Google Detection, and you're going to now have the option for, from any screen, from lock screen, this one will probably be blacked out temporarily until you take this one and set up the voice. So what we're going to do is, eh, let's do it. Do that, click that, and then we're going to retrain the voice model. So you'll have to do this the first time, and you'll get this. So what it says, if you can't read it, or if you don't want to look at your phone, voice search on any screen. Use the insert there command. For uh, You have to set it three times, like training it for the Moto X. So we're going to do it right now, and you can follow along in the video, but I recommend you pause or mute this so my voice does not train your phone. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. And then it's good. It'll say you can... Respond to OK Google when the screen is on, or, oh, quiet, you eager beaver. But it lets you do it when the phone screen is on, regardless of where it is. If it's on the lock screen, you can do it. And if the screen is off and it's charging, it can recognize it. And obviously you need a data connection depending on what you need, what you want to do with OK Google. Okay, so that's how you do that. I'm going to, again, I'm going to link the download for Google Play services. Google search and the Unleash the Google APK. And then I'm also going to include a secondary download. Probably not, but I might. But then I will also link right under the download for the special Unleash the Google APK. I'm going to leave a link to the developer. I'm going to check his name right now so I don't mispronounce it because I'd feel really terrible. Obi Onyedor, uh, with his name on Google Plus being the new Malcolm. So he is to thank for this, and I'm going to link to his Google Plus profile and then possibly his, the specific posts so you can thank him and just let him know that it worked. So from me to you and OK Google to you, have fun with this and be sure to thank the developer for this one. Peace out, guys.